In this video, I want to talk about the struct variable type available within Blueprints. So uh, let me start by creating a variable, and I'll call this my struct, like so. And if you expand the variable type dropdown, you'll see an expandable group uh, within your dropdown for the various structs. Now, a struct is a collection of different types of data that are all combined together into a single variable. So a really common one that you'll run into quite a bit would be things like rotators, transforms, and vectors. And you might be thinking, what, a vector? Isn't, uh, isn't a vector just x, y, and z data? And the answer is absolutely. But because it is three separate pieces of information, it is considered a struct. So uh, a transform is a really popular one because transform contains location, rotation, and scale data all in a single element. So I'll turn this into a transform, and let's go ahead and bring it into the graph like so. So I'll choose a getter. Now in many cases when working with structs, you will have to break them open. So you can drag a wire out, and in any struct you'll see the ability to break it. So you'll see things like break vector or break hit result, or in this case break transform. So I'll open that up, and suddenly you can see the elements that make up this struct. So we have location, rotation, and scale. Let me make one more just to kind of show this off. We'll do my hit result which is something that you'll use quite a bit as you do traces, also known as raycasts. Not something we're going to explore here, but if you hear about it, I'm hoping that you'll remember I said this later on down the road. So let's expand struct, and you should find hit result. By the way, if you don't want to dig for it, you can always search. So just type hit, and it'll appear really quickly. And again, I'll bring this in and create a getter for it. And if we drag a wire out and say break, we can break that hit result, and you can see that in this case, this struct contains a lot more information. We have the location of the hit, we have the normal of the surface where the, the hit happened, uh, we have, well actually that would be the, the impact normals. So you have all of these different types of data that you can use in a variety of different ways. That is the nature of a struct. It is just a collection of a bunch of different data types all combined into one thing. So at a glance, that is what a struct is. If you don't know whether or not you need one of these, chances are you probably don't. Uh, in many cases, you'll find that you will create uh, some sort of operation, or you'll perform some sort of operation, excuse me, that will output a struct or might take one in. So for example, I could do a trace. And let's do a really simple single line trace for objects. I'm not actually going to go through setting all of this up. However, keep in mind that the output of it, so the object that you hit, comes out in the form of a struct. So the very next thing you'll probably do at this point would be to break the result open, and now you'd have access to where that hit took place, et cetera, and so forth. And if you're unfamiliar with what a single line trace would be, uh, this would be creating uh, some kind of a ray cast from one point to another to see what you run into. Uh, not your and not to you know, kind of beat the dead horse, but just to grab a part of our whiteboard for just a minute and move our old notes out of the way. Uh, you could take point A and then draw a line to really anywhere. That line could just go on forever. And as soon as it hits something, like a wall, you have all kinds of information that comes out. And this would be your hit result. So not to get too terribly sidetracked, but the, really all of the important things have already been covered. So that is what a struct is. Again, just a collection of data uh, that is combined into a single variable. That's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.